so my girl to pipe down Need it right now Lately I've been going till the lights out Got my face up and my eyes down Shawty, now you know what this is like now We're up We as in me Wesley is still asleep Have to make a reservation for the gym 30 minutes before we go So I'm gonna go let Wesley go to the bathroom Let them know that I'm ready for the gym Kind of Not like ready But I'm gonna go fill my jug with ice And then knock out a workout Bright and early And then start the day What can I say? Ooh, I got them looking at me sideways I can't say no days off They know I can't Lately I've been in a different mind state And I got them tripping I've been making hits, I don't got no time for misses Shawty wanna ring, yeah, she tryna be a missus I've been so ahead, I don't think y'all really get it They been taking L's, they can't see how I been winning And I got a drip, so they see me making waves They don't even see how many chances I done gave I've been working hard, dog. I think I need a raise Said I couldn't do it, but I told my girl to pipe down Need it right now Lately I've been going till the lights out Got my face up and my eyes down Shorty, now you know what this is like now Now I got a big drop top and I'm rolling And I told my girl I'ma be up till the morning Feeling like I'm two, three, cause you know I'm zoning Shorty got a wave, we been chilling by the ocean Now I got a big drop top and I'm rolling And I told my girl I'ma be up till the morning Feeling like I'm two, three, cause you know I'm zoning Shorty got a wave, we been chilling by the ocean Yeah, yeah That bitch fucking with a shoe, she pescatarian She wanna come fuck with a boss, she ate it Yeah, need it right now Lately I've been going to the lights out Got my face up and my eyes down Shorty, now you know what this is like now Now I got a bitch up top and I'm rolling And I told my girl I'ma be up till the morning Feeling like I'm two, three, cause you know I'm zoning Shorty got a wave, we been chilling by the ocean Crushed it. And we out. Guy. Okay. Could hit like a lot of different things. So, ended up training glutes and back. Feeling good, feeling ready to start the day. Um, I will probably be back for a little baby cardio session later. And before I jump on my first call of the day, I'm going to make myself some breakfast. Not gonna be that exciting, but. It'll do the just kind of funny. She was like, can you just let me know like when you're done at the gym? And I was like, yeah, I mean, I've got a lot to do. Puppy was sleeping the whole time. Puppy made a big mess in the kitchen. Okay. Like why? Huh? I don't understand. Sit. What, can you tell me why? I don't know. Okay, 
So we are refreshed. On the way back from the gym, I saw this little patio area. Dog friendly, it's pretty, there's sun. Of eight calls back to back to back to back. So I'm gonna be taking my calls out there. I'm gonna make myself breakfast real quick. Breakfast, give myself some coffee, it's half calf. And I think I'm gonna take my first set of calls out on the patio. And then we'll see kind of where the day takes us. So that's the plan. If it is too loud out there, or if there's like people that would, I would just be annoying to. It's, I mean, if they're trying to enjoy their brunch and I'm out there like blabbing away, then I'll come back to the room. But I'm holding to my commitment that I'm gonna be staying on site. So I don't know how exciting this day is gonna be because I'm just gonna be doing work all day but I'm here for it. I wasn't lying when I said it's super exciting. Six ounces of ground turkey, honey mustard, romaine lettuce, just like pure protein, basically. And the rest of my water, I still have a half to go. And my half cup coffee. So, we are ready to go do some work. decided that I have three sessions today. Session number one is done. I got a lot done multitasking, some really good calls, and then session two is about to start as my alarm goes off, and then I eat again, and then session three starts. And I think session three is going to involve headphones, music, and just being creative. I am spending some time on a relaunch for Fit Life Balance in a lot of ways. Website design, programming, pricing, like fall is coming, so I have a new 10 week program I'm gonna be dropping. I might have already dropped by the time this video is up. On Fit Life Balance, I have my traditional one on one coaching, which is anywhere from eight weeks to a year. And then, and then every like season, so I did spring was level up summer was summer strong and now we are doing evolve more to come more details fall we're going to be doing evolve by fit life balance so evolve will be launching and then we'll look into winter so every season i drop a 10-week coaching program which is not something i offer on a regular basis so it's kind of exciting if someone's into like the 10 weeks um, and i get to revamp all my workouts all of my content so that being said that is what my session three today is gonna to be. All the creative vibes, get my workouts going, all things fall evolve. So, because he was sitting there anxious the whole time because there was people passing, there were dogs, there were tons of people going by. So, a little anxious pup. So don't be afraid. Um, I think it's a good thing that we are trying to climb up your calories. Um, there is definitely a chance that your body is going to respond well to it. Um, based off of kind of like your last couple weeks, um, your body is like on fire. Right? Um, I would plug in and plan for relatively lean protein options throughout the first part of your day. And then when it comes to your free meal, just have what you want whether it's a plate of pasta, whether it's taking your kids to pizza, whether it's a date night. Um, ultimately, free meals are for just like enjoying and, and it's like a nice psychological break from the app. It's um, a break from tracking. It's enjoying something that you want, um, obviously, and finding that control point where like you're not going overboard, you're staying within your boundary, like it's one plate of food. Um, and I think the more we introduce these concepts, you're going to get less attached and emotionally involved with a plate of food. Um, so I'm excited to not only bring a diet after sleep, pull back on cardio, um, but also implement a treat meal. So what I would like from you is a midweek, just a 
Yes, my name is Adam, and I'm coach for Neo Rain as well. It'll be interesting to see how you're Oh, happy Monday. Um, I actually am really happy with your plan right now. Um, I think your progress is at, a, is at a pretty steady point. You're making progress every single week. Um, so there's really no reason to change too much anyways. Um, it's not... With the same plan, you're making some incredible progress. Um, and then just let me know throughout the week what you need from me. For weeks. Um, there are definitely times where sometimes I will give you two weeks of one set of plan and, and two weeks for another. So if we ever need to like split anything, like if there's stuff going on or if you want to incorporate a vacation or something like that, we can always make adjustments to your four weeks. Um, so anyways, I'm so proud of you. I hope you're having a great Monday and let me know. Meal two. Five ounces of ground beef, asparagus, sweet potato with a little bit of cinnamon, stevia, and PB Fit. I'm really excited for this. back it's been a minute since I updated you but I got off my last you but I always have to have like music going I don't care if it's just me us always that's been a minute after my last call I drank a nitro coffee as you guys saw it's like antsy like I got off my call my boss actually called me right after that and I love her by the way yeah Good relationship. I got antsy and so I took him downstairs. I literally did a treadmill walk. I finished my cardio this morning but I like needed to like just disconnect so I just jumped on the treadmill. I did some reading. Found out that level one pumpkin spice just launched from first form. Oh man! Got early access because we are legionnaires for first form but link in description. I'm, I went on immediately and bought three tubs. Three tubs. So anyways, I went down, we took a walk, um, and then I took him like a big loop around the resort and got his like ants out of his pants. So I think what we're gonna do is dinner and then shower and just relax. So I probably will end the vlog here and pick it up briefly tomorrow on our way out. Well, it wasn't the most exciting vlog today um, just because I'm, it was literally like like we saw it work session one work session two work session three and I'm like halfway done with work session three except I still have like a good two hours left to do so okay so since it is still decently light outside we're gonna go down to the patio like we were at this morning and do dinner romantic dinner with Wes Okay, so we are headed down. I have my Tupperwares cleaned and packed, my dry goods cleaned and packed, and then tomorrow I have my breakfast, lunch, and snack. And then I'm gonna be using this tonight. This is my pre-workout for tomorrow. I'm gonna bring this right now. This goes in my jug. This is tonight, like no wasting, this is great. And then I don't have a bottle opener. So I'm excited to bring this back. Not mad about this place. 
like the combination of the patio. Gym is right there. It's spread out. There's like walking trails around. I didn't really have to leave. So. Dinner time. And then we're gonna head back and I'm just going to zone out for the night. So see you in the morning. On the road a little later than planned, probably like an hour later, but that's okay. Um, I decided I'm gonna take two calls on my Bluetooth on the way home. Um, but actually, we're probably gonna go straight to a coffee shop, finish up work for the day. Final destination is home. He is actually with his dad in Tahoe right now. Um, he actually just texted me saying that he just got there. And they are leaving stuff up for storage, and I guess he's helping his dad with some moving of furniture. Oh, I actually get tonight to do one more night of Fit Life Balance work. So I'm going to finish up my work day and then head back and me and this guy get one more night of retreat. And also I will talk to you guys a little bit about travel hacks and how I tend to stay on track when I'm away and all the things. So more to come later. But road trip number two. Run it, run it. Well, all I needed bed and now I'm buzzing. buzzing. Yeah, if she said I didn't change. I said you just stay the same. Where she used to have a plan, but now she doesn't. I literally walked in on a call, and he found his uh, lovely. Did I mention that I walked in on a call, and then he found? So, oh, anyways, we are back. Um, I want to sit down and talk to you guys a little bit about travel. So I'll give you a couple of nuggets to wrap up this vlog. And then I'm back to work. Quick store, quick stop to Trader Joe's, and then I'm gonna call it a night. Clearly already set up for success. Finally got my hands on one of these. They are right. They are indeed. It is a little different than regular sparkling water. There's just something about it. Native brain in me wants to put it in a glass with a sliced lime. Maybe it's just drinking out of a glass bottle. That's really refreshing. I don't know. Cheers. So first of all, thank you guys for joining me on this retreat. And if you watched this far into this vlog, thank you. I always find like a project that has nothing to do with what I actually want to get done at home. I'm um, always like, well, why don't you just come hang out with me? We'll make a girls weekend. And I'm like, no, because we'll sit there and talk and go on these trips to be like literally one, isolated or like music and in, in, in ears. Or two, like I want to elevate my business and I'm always just like focused on fit life balance. So no, so, thank you guys for following me along. Um, not your traditional like travel trip where like I'm not tempted to go to restaurants or like wine tasting or anything like that. Trust me, if you continue to watch me and Jay on YouTube, you'll see that we love to travel. Quite frankly, we're going to Idaho in a week and a half. So you'll see more of like a travel, but we love to travel. And this is why I'm talking about this. So in my opinion, it comes down to like a couple different things. And I'll save you the details and I think maybe I can go into more detail on my Boise vlog four or five days and it's gonna be actually like, not a vacation, but it's gonna be time away. So first and foremost, you have to decide what type of trip you want it to be. Mindset is everything. Is it A, I'm gonna to stick to my plan, I'm going to make whatever I experience fit into my macros, fit into my protocols. Um, I'm going to stay fully on track and I'm not intending to have any like free cheat 
overindulging moments. Like I want to stay on my plan. So mindset A is I'm going to try my best, but I'm going to incorporate one or two days where I don't track my macros or I track freely um, or I have I don't track at all. Um, so it's kind of incorporating balance where if you have four days away, you're going to commit to two days being on point and following your protocols and then two days of flexibility and maybe incorporating two untracked meals. So kind of like that in between. We've got option three, which is I am not going to track. I'm going to the gym if I feel like it. Full blown break, vacation, and whatever I feel like doing, I will do. So like option A, option B, and option C. So mindset is everything. You gotta get to that destination first. There's wrong in any of the options, but you have to declare like what mindset you're in prior to going on a trip. This travel vlog, this retreat, I was in mindset A 100%. Literally from my fridge to this trip. I brought my food scale. I brought my body scale I got my cardio in like everything stayed the same. I just relocated I focused on work So like that was a full intention of mine There was plenty of like little bakeries and restaurants. I could have like popped into but like my mindset was option It's too late now to turn around and Hopefully throughout this entire vlog you learned something or something was appealing to you, because uh, it was a long one, I get that. And uh, again, it'll happen like once a month. I will go away on my retreat, I'll take Wesley. So, that concludes our vlog. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you got one or two nuggets to take away from this vlog, and I will see you in the next one.